Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm finishing up the dollar store series today. Finally. So <laughs> I've got this make your own slime kit here. I'm not exactly sure how that works or what I'll need. I think I'll probably need some water. Uh, but yeah. It's slime time. <laughs> And then I've also got this Buzz Lightyear magic towel here. For those of you who are unfamiliar with magic towels, <clears throat> it's, a, it's this compressed towel and you drop it into water and it turns into a full size towel. Uh, probably not like a bath towel, maybe like a hand towel. Um, so we'll give that a shot. I've got some water in this bowl here and uh, I think I'll probably Drop that in first so I don't have to worry about it later. My nose is really itchy today, I don't know why. Moving on. Mm. Why can't I open this? Come on. There we go. So it says, place in warm water for one minute, then gently unfold. Okay, this is not warm water, this is cold water, but. <laughs> oh, I should probably show it to you all before, uh, before we go. It's really, it's just this compressed block. It's not unfolding on its own. Whoop. this compressed block. Whew. Here we go. It's kind of releasing some bubbles. I'm just going to leave it. Let it soak probably somewhere visible for y'all. Mm -hmm. This is kind of right in the middle of the action here. Maybe over here. Yeah. Okay. Maybe let me do... Let me like... That's not a good idea. Prop it up so y'all can see what's going on. Cool. Okay. I'm going to leave that in there for way more than one minute because now I'm going to make some slime. Slime time. Set up your laboratory. Make sure you put a newspaper down in your workstation as making slime can get a bit messy. Follow these rules. 1. Do not eat the slime or any of the ingredients. 2. Keep away from your eyes. 3. Wash your hands well after use. Instructions. Measure 40 milliliters of warm water and pour it into a cup. I really just... I'm too lazy to go and get warm water so we're just going to use this water and I don't know what 40 milliliters looks like so I'm gonna I'm gonna freestyle it slowly mix in 0.3 grams of guar gum use your wooden mixing stick this is the uh, they so generously provided a uh, a wooden mixing stick okay and once the powder is mixed in well pour sodium tetraborate liquid to the cup. Use your wooden mixing stick to mix in the liquid. Um, I'm realizing I'm I'm woefully underprepared for uh, 
for this video. I don't I don't have a cup. I don't have warm water, nor do I have a, a measuring device for the volume for the volumes uh, provided in the instructions. But you know, I have all those things available in my kitchen. Um, but uh, you know, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work regardless. Here's my cup. That's my cup, and uh, maybe I should use this. Is this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this as my cup. This is a lot bigger. I'm gonna use this thing as my cup, and I fold that in. Tape it on. Take some of the paper off the edges. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, 40 milliliters of warm water. 40 milliliters. So a liter is a thousand milliliters, and this is one liter. So 40 milliliters would be uh, four percent of this bottle, which is <laughs> okay. <laughs> One twenty-fifth of this bottle. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, how many capfuls? How many capfuls will fill this bottle? Probably. Uh, I would say maybe eight of these to fill one layer, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. But then I gotta remove, so that's sixteen. So okay, let's say twelve times. Hmm. Eleven times one hundred times. Hmm. Let's just try four capfuls. I think four capsules should be pretty good. I'm gonna say each capsule is about 10 milliliters. Let's start with three, and then if I need more, I can always add some more. Slowly mix in the 0.3 grams of guar gum, which I've got right here. This is guar gum. This is white, off-white type of powder. And they've so conveniently provided exactly 0.3 grams, so no measuring required. I'll pop that open. Come to think of it, I probably should have used the smaller cup. There's too much space in this one. Ooh, it smells really quite bad. The squar gum. Wonder how it tastes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I think I got pretty much all of it out. Okay. Mix it in using your wooden mixing. Oh, this is like really. This is really thick already. It's pretty gelatinous. I wish I could. I don't want to spill any. Yeah, you can see those little, little concentrated jelly areas. Yeah, okay, we're mixing, we're mixing. I need to mix it thoroughly. I might have. Maybe this is even three capfuls was too much water. I don't know. We'll find out when I add the sodium tetraborate. 
Sounds very ominous. Sodium tetraborate. Okay, this is not being mixed thoroughly at all. I've still got these little pockets of concentrated guar gum. I'm trying to pop them and mix this thing well. But they keep sliding away from my popsicle stick. here on this side maybe I should pour it into the smaller cup mm. yeah I'm gonna take that executive decision we might lose some material on the process but you know it's a calculated loss let's get all that all that stuff in here I got most of it transferred. Okay. Some of it's going to remain on this bigger cup, but you know, again, calculated risk. Right, squeeze the rest of that there. That looks pretty good. Okay. I feel like this is much easier to mix now. Yeah. sodium tetraborate liquid into the cup and this is colored green so your slime can look green but I would imagine sodium tetraborate itself is clear and then they added the green food coloring uh, I, think I have to unscrew this yeah okay I pull this out I guess oh something's coming out already oh Whoops. Okay, I guess I can. Ah. This is messy. Let me take that lid that exploded onto me. Put that over there. Okay. Put in my sodium tetraborate liquid. I am, uh, so I can show you all what's going on. I am just, uh, Squeezing it out. I'm not going to squeeze all of it. I'll stop there first. I think that's about half. Let me mix and see what I'm getting here. Ooh. Ooh. It's very mucusy. It's very. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> We keep mixing. It's good that they put the food coloring because I can really, or whatever coloring, because I can really tell what areas are mixed and what what areas are not, just based on the green, the distribution of the green. All right, I think I probably need more of this sodium tetraborate liquid here. I'm gonna throw some more in there. I'll just use all of it. Let's go. my the baby voice on let's go <laughs> I love all those the baby memes where he looks like that one car they put his face on that car oh my god so funny okay I probably put too much water I think my my back of the envelope estimates my volumetric estimates were really off and I think I put more than 40 milliliters of water to all my friends out there using the metric system, I apologize for my ineptitude. Ooh, okay, I'll show y'all what we got here. Just, okay. All right, that's what we got. Ooh, 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. It's pretty viscous. Science, that's cool. All right, time for the fun part. Holding it. Let me just let me mix it a little bit more here. Whatever will mix, that is. Some of it's just not mixing, and that's fine. It's probably saturated. No room to mix anymore. Water guar gum solution in there. All the sodium tetraborate has probably been activated with however many molecules of the water guar gum solution it could mix with. Okay. Ooh. Uh. God. Okay. All right. Okay. What do I want to do? Before anything, let's check on our towel. Not really much going on here. I kind of have to open it up myself. All right. Let's. Uh, do that and then put it back into the water for a little bit. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Oop. Okay. And this is going to be my little transferring it back into the bigger receptacle. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, now here's the kicker. I can barely hear myself, let alone the sounds that I'm making in this video, because I'm listening to some music right now. So I don't know whether this thing is going to make any any sounds or not, or any good sounds. Um, but I'm still going to mess around with it for a few minutes, and I'll, you know, hope for the best. Ooh, this is very, <laughs> it's very slimy. It's so slimy. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, definitely use too much water. I overestimated my estimation abilities, I think is what it was. Uh, still see some pockets of concentrated guar gum here. I'm trying to pop those with my hands, but they're very elusive. They're very slippery. Getting a few squashed, and hopefully that will, you know, allowed the solution to be mixed better and hopefully get a little thicker and less watery. But, uh, anyway, let me try and get let me try and get it in my hands. Oh my god, this like <laughs> I don't know if I'm enjoying this or not. I kind of am, but I just I have this like ingrained tendency uh, now that I'm no longer a kid to like be clean with stuff to not be messy and so my instincts are like to not get this slime all over my hands but I, I think that's kind of the point is to have the slime in your hands and to be messy so here we go whoa <laughs> whoa oh Oh my gosh. Yeah, my desk is probably gonna need a cleaning after this. That's a good part about being messy. If you like if you like being clean is that you get to clean afterwards and that feels very satisfying. Let's make some hand noises. I'm sure they're making I'm sure there are some hand noises that are coming out of this. I don't know. Can you hear them? I can feel them, you know, I can feel them. 
Let's pour back just a little bit, just, just enough. To... Just do that for a few minutes. Like I can feel the sounds, so I kind of know what they sound like, like, like that. <laughs> I know what that sounds like, even though I can't hear it. <laughs> oh, funny, funny, funny. Inner child. I feel like most of most of us adults have a lot of inner child work to do. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with what what I'm even referring to. Um, there's a lot of branches of therapy and, and psychology that posit that, you know, a lot of the, the traumas of growing up um, repress our inner child, the creative, innocent, excited, child within all of us and uh, and the onus is then on us as adults to do the necessary work of rekindling that inner child within us so that we're not always just boring adults all the time concerned about getting money and being secure and boring life is no fun without your inner child All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do oh oh my gosh my hands are so messy okay let me wipe this piece of slime off the desk put that there bring this bowl here and just Wipe my hands with this magic towel here. It's not a very thick towel, but I don't I don't think I really expected it to be. Because it's from the dollar store, but it's a buzz light your towel and that means it's good. That makes it cool. I don't have brand loyalty to a lot of things, but I'm definitely loyal to Buzz Lightyear. I had the Buzz Lightyear toy when I was a kid, like the OG, like when Toy Story 1 came out. Um, for all you Gen Z people listening right now, Buzz Lightyear, like, I had the, the, the very first Buzz Lightyear toy when it came out, and it had the, like, pop-out wings and the, and the little laser light and the, the catchphrases when you push the button. That was all real. It's a real toy. One of the coolest toys I ever had, for sure. All right, let me show you all this. Uh, let me show you all this towel. Let me just squeeze the last bit out of there. Pretty cool. Yeah. Some towel sounds, I hope. It really is, there is some degree of stress that is associated with making an ASMR video and not being able to hear the sounds that you're making, but uh, you know, I do it for a good reason. Well, two good reasons, I think. One is uh, I keep getting distracted when I'm making a video by the random environmental sounds um, that occur that are out of my, outside of my control. Um, and so this is a good way to just vibe and, and not worry about distractions. And then two, uh, I think by not focusing on the sounds that I'm making, the quality of the sounds and optimizing them and blah 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 it 
it moves the ASMR towards something that's more unintentional. Obviously, this is still intentionally being done, but I think y'all get what I'm trying to say. Let's do some, uh, let's do some wooden mixing stick sounds before calling it a day with this video. a little more mixing. This stuff is really snotty. <laughs> Fascinating. I think life was probably a lot more fun before it. we learned about germs, like germ theory, you know? Life was also a lot more dangerous and mortality rates were a lot higher and average length of life is probably a lot lower. Um, and the fact that somebody discovered what germs are is, is like <laughs> crucial for the, advance, for the advancement of humanity, but it, Life was probably fun before we knew what germs were. Because, you know, that caused this obsession with cleanliness that a lot of societies have. Uh, and it's a compulsion. It's a compulsion. Cleanliness means safety, and, and dirtiness means danger. And we're, like all other species, um, hardwired for survival and so cleanliness means survival and there's something now that's deeply disturbing and ingrained in us that feels like you know dirtiness is is gonna lower our chances of survival but then there's also the flip side of that where exposing yourself to various bacteria can help you improve your immunity so you know got to keep that in mind as well like yeah take a shower um, but also, like, it's okay to roll around in the grass sometimes and shit and stuff. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've cursed on this channel. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. 
yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you in the next one.